just our family hotel. Um, for some reason, Google Maps has taken me a long way around because I thought I was in a car. So I'm not sure what to expect from this hotel. I only booked it yesterday. I was surprised how cheap it was compared to other hotels. Oh look, the Happiness Hotel. What do you think guys? Is it the Union Jack or is it the Union Flag? What's it known as these days? Street. There, that's me told. Anyway, it's the day after. I'm still here in London, as you can see. All these nice, lovely buildings here. They remind me of the Georgian Quarter back in Liverpool. It's nice to see some trees, get some fresh air around. Anyway, I'm on Charlwood Street. I'm going to show you outside of the hotel and inside of the hotel where I stayed last night. I didn't really get much of a chance to last night because I was in so much of a rush to get to Wembley and I even got lost. I arrived there late. I missed the uh, pre show. Anyway, I'm staying at the Melita. Sounds a bit Maltese, doesn't it, guys? Number 35 to 33. Here's my key card. I was greeted just here by a lovely lady, very nice. Some of this artwork is amazing, you know, guys. Sherlock Holmes there outside. And the small warm, warm pasties and hot drinks. So that was a nice surprise for me. I want to get a picture of this while well, see you guys. I like this one. So Amy Wynos, Daffy Duck, Slamy, Elton John and the Fonz stayed here in this picture. Oh, I'm going to show up at YouTube for the music thing. Oh, there's a nice one there as well. There's Igor. Charles Dickens. I'm not sure who the lady is. Ozzy Osbourne and Austin Powers. So I'm going to put it up there. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to take you down to my room now. The lights flicker in there because it's almost night. But as, as you can see, there's a toilet there as you can see. I think. <coughs> there's a towel with fresh. No, there's a shower with fresh towels. <laughs> um, I got a shower last night, but I didn't know how to get it warm. It only moved the shit and there to there, so I couldn't really get a hot. It was nice and refreshing though. Got me... I forgot to be called then, it's a fridge. <laughs> Got the usual wardrobe here. 
Got a safe, cut hangers, extra bedding. T table, as you can see, fan. Yep. I've been watching Walk With Me Tim, so I know to check the kettle on, guys. Yeah, the kettle's quite clear. The bed was quite nice, it was a nice sleep. Here's my view. TV and this is in case of a fire so I can escape you at the night anyway guys um, the next time you'll see me I'll be on the train going home I was like I'm getting the coach back so I spliced out a bit and got the train so I'll catch you guys later I know I said you'll next see me at the train station but I thought I'm in London I might as well do some sightseeing go around and see a few things so just walking down to the Thames never been before so I'm going down towards the Thames anyway I'll just show you guys instead instead of trying to think words I'll just show you I wish I planned this better, you know. Um, I thought I'm just gonna, just gonna go, I'm gonna gonna go back to the pool. Um, I need to get rid of my stuff. So I'll change the clothes, have a proper wash and stuff. But um, if I planned, I could have stayed a bit longer and seen the sights properly. Next time, guys. Next time. I'm saying that this is the second time I've been to London. But um, first time was for the Beatles stuff, so it's just for the Beatles and the weather was terrible. It was January, but um, as you can see at the moment now, it's lovely. Let's all worship the sun. Oh, is that a hotel? If it is, it reminds me of something from you'd find abroad. The layout, it's lovely, that is. I've got no information for it to give you as well, anything, guys. But um, just view it. What if you can? Because the sun's in the way. Oh, what the fuck? Sorry.